The Federal Reserve has raised interest rates again in an effort to ease inflation. The Fed increased rates by a quarter of a percentage point yesterday. The move comes amid increased concern over the U.S. banking system and the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank earlier this month. Here to discuss is Javier David. He's the managing editor for business and markets at Axios and, of course, a CBS News contributor. So uh, the word on the street, Javier, is, seems to be uh, that uh, this latest hike is signaling to the street that uh, the Fed is taking uh, more seriously the risk of inflation as opposed to the turmoil in the banking system. Not that they don't care about it, but that they feel that the greater urgency is inflation. How do you see it? Yeah, that uh, I think that sums it up really nicely. I think uh, ex -Fed New York Federal Reserve uh, President William Dudley said um, in Bloomberg earlier this week that the Fed can fight both inflation and contagion. And any suggestion that they're somehow mutually exclusive is just a quote unquote false choice. So what we had yesterday, the TLDR is the Fed uh, did what more or less people expected that they would do, which is they hiked by 25 basis points. Uh, several weeks ago, we were almost bracing ourselves for a 50 basis point hike. But the, the 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 sort of subtext of that is they feel confident enough in the banking sector to absorb higher rates, but they also kind of want to pause for a minute. Like, uh, you know, they're setting themselves up for what now uh, is expected to be maybe one more move this year. Uh, but they're in the proverbial rock and the hard place in that um, inflation has not been tamed and they are very, very adamant that that needs to be put in check. Uh, but uh, these banking uh, stresses that we're seeing in the system are really scaring and unnerving a lot of people and they have really deep and heavy ramifications. So Jerome Powell is always really specific with his language. And I, I, I didn't realize this when I'm reading this right now, that apparently there was a sort of a line removed from the statement, ongoing increases. He said something sort of like a little, I, I'm trying to get the exact verbiage, but it's a little different than what he had said before in previous statements, perhaps suggesting that there is an end in sight when it comes to interest rate hikes. Yeah, the, well, the dot plot, which is well, what a lot of us watch and we sort of get all worked up in the leather about, which are basically the rate projections for the rest of the year, all seem to point to maybe one more hike being in the pipeline before they sort of take something of a breather. Um, the irony here is uh, what they've already done and the bank stresses um, are accomplishing something that the Fed actually wants, which is some disinflationary pressure. They want for lenders to stop lending so much. They want for consumers to stop spending so much. They want uh, something that suggests that economic activity is starting to tail off. And, you know, fairly or unfairly, uh, what we're seeing in the banking sector is accomplishing that because it's very clear that a lot of these institutions are going to be less inclined to just hand out money. Mm. Um, businesses looking for money are going to have a little bit of a harder time finding it, as will uh, consumers that want to borrow. But that's the idea behind hiking those interest rates, right? Less money in the streets, as they say. Um, so yeah. it looks like the instability in the banking industry is helping a little. Right. So then what is your take on uh, what is happening in the banking industry? Um, and are we expected to see even greater contagion or do we think it's contained? We are, the hope is that it's contained. And I, I want to be very deliberate with my words because I don't want them to come back to haunt me. But um, this isn't 2008. And I think I made this point yesterday. Uh, we're not, you know, there aren't a bunch of banks out there with a bunch of uh, crazy derivatives sitting on their books. The banking sector, aside from the regional banks, which are seeing um, a little bit, at least some sort of depositor outflow, what they are, all of the, um, uh, uh, officials are trying to do is prevent that. They don't want people yanking their money out of banks en masse. Some of that is becoming sort of apparent in certain institutions like PacWest and certainly uh, First Republic. Uh, but what they want for people to believe is that the banking system is safe and sound. And it's not, it's a far cry from what we saw in 2008. So meantime, you know, we're concerned about inflation. I just had to Google because last time I looked, took a look at inflation, I thought it was 6%, but it, it appears as if it's higher than that now. Um, but it's way worse in the UK. They, they just hit the 8.4% mark in February. So this morning, the Bank of England announced that it was raising its uh, bank rate. No surprise at all, because usually they follow suit with, you know, the Federal Reserve. Um, what's going on over there in the UK? Why are they dealing with like this level of inflation? It certainly looks like the hikes are not helping them very much. 
Yeah, you know, it's it's like it's it's a classic case of you know you think you've got problems. We think mm -hmm. we have problems here in the United States, but uh, Europe's inflation problem is a lot uh, different, and theirs is mostly derived from the energy crisis that was sparked by Russia Ukraine. Um, so they're starting that's starting to come back down to earth, but. Uh, as you mentioned, what's happening in Britain in terms of inflation uh, is a lot more significant than what we're feeling here. And if and you, if you can believe it or not, and certainly U.S. consumers are under pressure, but uh, their British counterparts are, are suffering it even more. So the Bank of England is in a similar, if not identical, uh, position that the Federal Reserve is, which is uh, they want to fight inflation, but they're also mindful of growth. Uh, they realize that this is causing a lot of pain and they're going to have to at some point signal when the campaign is going to end. All right. Javier David, thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks.